this is Chicho again. Now, we're going to continue on with reading uh, some comics that I have in my collection. And this is one of the ones I've been meaning to read. Um, it's uh, in the 1960s, 1950s, 60s, and even 70s. There were a lot of comic books put out uh, based on TV series. And this is one of them. It's, um, it's a comic book based on the National Velvet TV series. And um, National Velvet um, is a movie that came out in nineteen uh, in nineteen thirties, I believe, um, that nineteen uh, forties maybe, uh, that starred uh, Mickey um, Mickey Rooney and Elizabeth Taylor. She was very young at the time; I think she was like twelve years old. And it was a movie based on a book uh, by the same name, National Velvet. Now. My first exposure to this storyline was from the 1978 movie International Velvet uh, with Tatum O'Neill. And I remember watching it. I was really young at the time. And um, I'm pretty sure a lot of uh, young, young kids at the time fell in love with that movie. And uh, that movie stayed with me. Um, and uh, as soon as I saw the comic book, uh, I ended up grabbing it. I ended up grabbing... Um, this is uh, National Velvet from 1961, issue number one. It's actually four color, a number 1193, okay? And the numbering for the four color Dell was printing is, is a little wacko. And um, it's, <laughs> yeah, you always have to look these up to see how they, how they start, where they are. Um, and Dell started doing four color. They, published a lot of uh, initially in the 1930s I believe they published a lot of Walt Disney comics and uh, so this is the first adaptation comic book adaptation of the TV series and I believe that's um, uh, Laurie Martin was uh, was the star in the TV series I haven't seen the TV series I've, I've seen the movie National Velvet and definitely seen uh, International Velvet uh, two or three times a long time ago and, um, and this is the first comic adaptation um, of National Velvet and there was a few more issues of four color um, but this is number one and these ones are the gold key number one that they came out in 1962 and that's number two um, and that is the same uh, same star i believe laurie laurie martin uh okay so what we're gonna do is uh, these are what are these these are graded as uh six this one's 1963 1962 that's graded as a six and this one's graded as a 4.5 um but we're not going to read these ones um i want to take a look at the first adaptation of it uh, in comic book format so what we're gonna do is uh, crack this open and um, have a read through it. I'm just gonna bring out my glasses and um, throw this on. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing. Um, again, Dell Comics, four color, number one, published in 1961. This is great as a 5.5 uh, July and the number on it is 1195 it's got a really small print here I'm not sure if you can see it copyright 1961 Metro Golden Mire Incorporated and uh, what does it say velvet and velvet and kin take a desperate chance to save her father's life okay now, I watched these movies a long time ago and I don't know uh, I can't remember the story on this uh, from what I recall it's uh, this young girl that uh, learns how to ride a horse and gets into the competition and uh, enters a national competition I guess uh, it's a steeplechase uh, where they jump over I think it's cross-country so let's crack this open and this thing is uh, sort of an anthology uh, I think it's got three or four different short stories in it and what we're gonna do is uh, just flip through it and have a read through one of them. Okay. Let's take a look at the back cover actually before we do that. What is the back cover? 
Twinkles. Never seen this uh, cereal before. Three Twinkles magic, magic sponge toys. Put them in water. Do you remember these? The dragons that grew really large when you put them in water. They expanded. Funny. Let's have a look through this thing. Prizes, 3,000. So what does this say, the fine print? Uh, National Velvet, number uh, 1,195. May, July, 1961. Published by Dell Publishing Company, Incorporated, uh, 753rd Avenue, New York. A lot of comic book publishers all out of New York, okay? Uh, publisher Helen Meyer, President, Executive Vice President William F. Callahan, Jr., Paul Liner. So there's a lot of names here. So Bruce. Copyright is Metro Golden Meyer, so I guess they're licensed. Uh, Dell licensed this uh, from Metro Golden Meyer. Printed in the U.S., designed and produced by Western Printing and Lithographing Company. So this is Western and uh, Western Whitman. So I guess this is the first story. Cloud Burst, National Velvet. So let's have a little flip through it. Very large panels, big writing. Actually, who are the artists for this? Do we know? doesn't list the, the artist, the writers. Maybe it does at the end there. Nice artwork, nice coloring. And it's a nice quality book. Uh, the cover's got some where a little bit of chips right you sit down here or is that a chip or is that the color oh no that's just the color of the bushes looks like a chip eh that's just the color of the bushes it's got stress on the spine a little bit of wrinkling up top no rips so yeah five great this is a five probably not a 5.5 .5 or six but five plus and minus anyway at the end no artist mentioned there interesting and another story again no artist mentioned at all national velvet the broken bridle brittle Clink, clink, clink. Story continuing in the following pages. What a writing there. Trade. All ex exciting, amazing new Dell trading posts. Oh my god, they're cutting their things. We'll help you get all of the wonderful toys, games, and sports equipment you've, you've ever wanted. Yes, start to save Dell Comics now. Remember to buy only the Dell, only Dell Comics so you can trade at the great new Dell Trading Post. Be sure to save every cover, they're valuable. No kidding. Uh, and watch for. And watch for 
the next issue of Dell Comics for the giant list of great bargains that your Dell comic cover strips will get for you. The more you save, the bigger your selection can be. So begin now. Start saving with the cover of this comic. Cut off the part of the cover <laughs> that has both the name of the comic and the Dell seal on it. Oh my God. You'll be amazed at the great bargains at the great bargains you you'll be able to obtain at low low prices in each and every Dell comic remember this offer is good for all Dell comics not just those pictured above Wow so they want you to cut this out <laughs> definitely not let's see where were we Wow look at the scissors and the name yikes so the story continues lots of writing cute little book and if you compare this with the EC books the writing of these is very large right and this is 1961 and the EC comics that we've been reading they're from the 19 early 1950s so 10 years earlier uh, geared towards adults the comics uh, told a way more intense story lots of writing to them here's another one the breaking point cute yeah keep yawning maybe we'll read this one I like the kids uh, the facial expression the kid oh, there is a bull involved is this the last story yeah that's the last story so this is an anthology of uh, sort of three stories from national velvet right and then national velvet the steeplechase uh, of all steeplechases, the Grand National on the Air Tree course, England, is the most difficult and dangerous. The worst jump there is Betcher's Brook, where death and injury are frequently met. Ouch. So let's go back and uh, read. read uh, this one with the kid so what's this one called national velvet the breaking point at breakfast saturday morning all donald brown can talk about is the long promised fishing trip and we're not coming home until we've caught a string of trout this long father promised not quite donald I promise to spend the day with you fishing not how well the trout will bite and will be home to help m help m my with the milking I guess my is maybe mum mother promised to help me sew my new party dress today didn't you mother if we get that far Ed Edwina will need help cutting it out even with the pattern i think my promise to help me teach king more about jumping that's better than making dresses isn't it my maybe this is my never having been dress never been, having been a dressmaker i couldn't say velvet let's see this one well we'd best be starting donald hooray your lunch box is uh, is by the door and the jug of milk is in the refrigerator don't forget it my will you help me saddle King now and that's uh, uh, the horse the main horse the title of this thing was what was it velvet and King take a desperate chance to save her father's life I'm not sure if that's the story we're about to read 
maybe the maybe one of the earlier ones but I guess that's Velvet talking about her horse King I'm a jump ahead of you Velvet King is saddled and waiting in the barn Wump, bump, creak, wump. Well, that bull is at it again, trying to break out of his stanchion. Someday I'm afraid he'll do it. Father, old Toro is on a rampage, worse than ever. I heard the stanchion planks creak. Perhaps you'd better look. Come along, my. See what you think about Toro Stanchion. I'm not sure what a Stanchion is. Very well, sir. Father, you said we'd start early, and it's late now. Father, kid whining. Stop screaming, Donald. If you make Father angry, you'll be sorry. Those planks ought to be reinforced, sir. Toro has weakened them. You're right, and there's no time to be lost, Mai. Get the leading pole. Letting pole. We'll do the job right now. Letting pole. Don't know too much about barns, I guess. Can't we start now? No, Donald. Toro's stanchion is at the breaking point. We'll have to rebuild it right away. Sorry, son, the fishing trip will have to be postponed. But you promised. You promised me the whole day. But he's crying. He broke his promise. It isn't fair. Donald. He broke his promise. He told me a lie. But he's crying. Stop it, Donald. Stop it, I say. Father did not tell you any lie, and don't you say so. Why well, he's still crying. He's throwing a tamper tantrum. He broke his promise to me. Ah, he's freaking out. Velvet, Donald, what is the matter? Father has to mend Toro's stanchion so he won't break loose and Donald is furious that's all that's all Weena well I guess I'd be furious too Donald's been counting on it all week he promised Saul to take me fishing today kids crying Boy, he's still crying ah he's freaking out there there i don't blame you donald oh you two make me tired meanwhile in the barn mice tried to snap the end of the leading pole into toro's nose ring and having a hard time of it oh i guess they take that pole and put it in the nose ring and lead the bull lead the bull around woof woof bull's grumpy hold still you thick-headed lummox It just isn't right, Father. Why you think more of that old bull than you do of Donald? <laughs> that will be enough, young lady. I don't need you to tell me my responsibilities as a father. You take Donald back to the house this instant. Oh, and the bull breaks loose. Yo! Quick as a cat. My vaults out of reach of the deadly horns. Burp. The bull's on a rampage. Look out, Toro's loose. Whatever the sound effects are, bull. Arr. Arr. Edwina, Donald, don't move. Moo, the bull's coming. Arr, arr. Huff, huff. Look at the 
people blowing smoke. All right. Toro, get back. Back in the barn. Oh. My, bring the pole. I can't even say these sound effects. Oh, we on. I would just go. My, bring the pole. So it's going toe to toe with the ball. Blam. Edwina, run. But fear has paralyzed both Donald and his sister for the moment. Brr. Edwina, Donald, jump. King, quick. So here comes Velvets and King to a rescue. Help, mother. Arr. The bull is chasing him. Hook that, you brute. Throws the blanket over the bull. Oof. Look at the smoke coming out of the bull's nose. I think this is the second bull story we've read. We had one in the first uh, reading session, right? With uh, Jackie Gleason, the Honeymooners, number 12. Arf, the bull is just going insane. Tearing up the blanket. Velvet, get away now. The others are safe. You're not father. So I guess this is the one where Velvet, Velvet's saving his father's life. Or her father's life. Wow, he grabbed the bull by the tail. Look at that. That's it, sir. Twist his tail hard. Brr. The bull's pissed. I'm not even sure if that's a good idea or a bad idea. Grab a bull by the tear, tail. There's a saying there, I think. Brr, the bull's running off. Head him back to the barn if you can, my. I guess that's where the saying comes from. I wonder what it means. Grab a bull by the tail. Good boy, King. Nip him again. Blah. Oh my God, the horse bit the tail. bull's tail. King has caught the spirit of the game, needs no encouragement. King has caught the spirit of the game, needs no encouragement. Brr. Bulls making noises and it's stuck. And here's the leading pole they bring in to put it on him, right? Keep him there, Velvet, till, till I get the ring. All right, my King, nip him again. E so King is just constantly biting him on the tail. Good horse. I'll get the ring now. Woof. That does it. Your fun is over, Toro. I guess that's you control bulls. <laughs> nah. Bulls making noises. He broke, a, he broke the stanchion with one great lunge, and I had to jump for my life, sir. I'm sorry. You did your best, Mai. No harm done. But if it hadn't been for Velvet and her horse, I hate to think what might have happened. It was you who did it, King. Aren't you proud? Val was talking to the horse, giving credit to King. Too bad. This had to spoil Donald's day of fishing, sir. But rebuilding that stanchion is a two-man job. Donald will have to learn that emergencies change one's best plans. There were pine planks, my. I should have replaced them with two-inch thick oak before now. Yes, sir. At dinner that noon, nerves are still tight. Donald, you must see, you must see mending the stanchion couldn't be put off. 
A promise is a promise. Oh, the kid's still grumpy. That's annoying. Mother's Donald. Should have got the kid to help build a thing. Let's check this out. Donald, tell me who ran out with only a plank to keep that mad bull from hurting you. I think you owe father an apology. I, I owe father an apology too for what I said before. Please, father, forgive me. Your turn now, Donald. Speak up. I'm sorry, father. You're forgiven, son. And so is Edwina. I don't remember a sister, Edwina. Uh, I'm going out now to make sure Toro is comfortable in the new stanchion we've built him. Do that, Mai, and give him an extra measure of grain to show him uh, we have no hard feelings after all. And that's the story of uh, Velvet and King saving her father's life. Cute. Kid for our uh, comics for kids, right? It does want to make me want to watch uh, International Velvet again anyway. Uh, haven't seen it for, wow, a long, long time. Right. So that's National Velvet. Uh, the first issue, four color, number 1195 uh, from Dell Comics. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.